Thanks very much. Sean Payton could be in a little bit of trouble. He reportedly smashed a fire alarm in the locker room before yesterday's game to get his players' attention. Apparently, alarms have been going off around Paul Brown Stadium for about 15 minutes when Coach Payton took matters into his own hands. It's unclear what the penalty could be, but the Bengals did alert local authorities who are now said to be investigating the matter. But the only fire that really mattered was the Saints were on fire inside the stadium. They, they went on to uh, pound the Bengals into the ground, 51 to 14. Joining us now by Skype with his take on the game, Ralph Marlborough, the WBL TV columnist, uh, dot com columnist. You're not the TV columnist, you're the dot com columnist. <laughs> and his uh, NSFW Saints Happy Hour podcast. And you, like everybody at the Saints fan, had a great time yesterday. I, it was amazing. The Saints, the only thing that took a worse beating than that fire alarm during the pregame was the Cincinnati defense, Eric. Well, that's for sure. Uh, Sean Payton said it it wasn't perfect, but if yesterday wasn't perfect, it felt perfect. Why did it count? That's not perfect. Like, what is a perfect game for the Saints? Do they need to score more touchdowns? Do they need to score faster touchdowns? Do they need to have magic tricks during touchdowns? I mean, I know they have to have coach speak during. The coaches have to say that, the cliches and all that. But as fans, we're under no obligation. Yesterday was amazing, and it's about as perfect a football game as I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, Ralph, we did let them score two touchdowns, so that wasn't perfect. If it had been 51 to nothing, that would have been a perfect game. <laughs> Well, no, because they then you could say they kicked field goals and didn't score nine touchdowns, right? <laughs> um, but I want to say something about the Saints. Drew Brees is in a tight MVP race, and he's never won the MVP. And I feel as fans, we need to take it to heart and do whatever we can to help get him the MVP. It's like JFK said when he said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. I think we as fans need to take that to heart for Drew Brees. Oh, and that's you know for how the sure. Saints you know, this, we, New Orleans has like Black and Gold Friday where we wear shirts and we get the kids in preschool. We send them in their Saints gear. I think we need to have a, a Friday and it needs to be Drew Brees for MVP Friday where we have shirts and banners and maybe we get on street corners with signs and bullhorns to let America know that Drew Brees is the MVP. All right, done. Thank you very much, Ralph. <laughs> uh, Anytime, Eric.